Hi there, Cy Baron here with another Sam video for beginners guitar. We're going to look at chord shapes today and what you can do to change the sound of those chords by adding or taking off particular fingers in that chord shape and discovering what different sounds you can hear while doing that. This is an interesting practice and it's quite fun because you can generate sounds just from a single chord which make the chord sound more interesting, more musical and more fun to play. So let's start with an easy chord, with the E minor chord. The easiest chord there is. Now all these chords that we're going to be looking at today are in the key of G. Now you don't really need to know too much about that but the key of G itself is a good key for playing around with down here, the bottom end of the guitar, because a lot of the open string notes will feature in the key of G. And that gives us good opportunity for taking fingers on and off. For example, in this E minor chord. So you have your basic E minor chord, but you can also take the finger off you get a nice sound like that or you take the other finger off and you can get a sound like that now notice I'm only playing the top strings one two three or one two three four you can play the whole lot but for now we're just going to try playing the uh, the thickest strings on the guitar now, so you could take this top finger off. This finger is currently on the second fret on the A string, which is the fifth string up from the bottom. Now, if you take that finger off and play those three, the three top strings, you get something like this. And we can make that a bit more musical by You can even take both fingers off and get something like this. I mean, I'm changing the rhythm up slightly here, but... Or something a bit quicker. Or you can do the muting technique, the heel of your palm on the top end of the strings here. I'm taking both fingers on and off. So you can begin to build up rhythmic patterns just with one chord. Or you could perhaps move your finger from the uh, fifth string put it onto the sixth string, something like this. You could even move from the bottom string position to the second fret and then move up to the third fret, something like this. taking fingers on and off and moving them. Let's move on to another chord. Let's go to the G chord. Playing it with three fingers. That's just standard G chord. But what about if you did the same trick as the E minor chord and took the index finger on and off? Let's try that. pretty good. What about moving that same finger up a fret onto the third fret? Let's try that. Sounds pretty good as well. Why don't you combine the two? Yeah, not bad. 
What about moving these two fingers completely down a string each? Let's try that. Now that chord is a C7, C major 7. But it's basically a C chord. It's an easy way of changing from a G chord to a C chord. Well, let's look at that C chord, shall we? And the C chord is uh, one of the harder chords to play. There's certain things you can do with this by taking fingers off. Let's take this middle finger off. It's an interesting sound. You can also add this little finger underneath on the string below. Now that's nice as well, but you can combine the two again. So taking this finger on and off, putting this finger on and off. You can also combine what we were doing with the G with what we were doing with the C, something like this. Starting to build up patterns of rhythm and chord changes within the chord. What about the D chord? Now, you may have already learned the D sus4 shape. Sounds like that, very nice sound. By the way, that is a C sus4. C chord, C sus4. And this, G chord, this one, that's a G sus4. And they all have that similar sound. Can you hear it? So that's the sus4 to the normal G. That's the sus4C to normal C. And then that's the sus4D to the normal D. Anyway, so this is the D sus4. We can do a lot with this. We can do this, for example. Also take your second finger off, sounding like this. Maybe combine the two. Uh, what else can we do? We could take this finger on and off. both of these fingers off. Let's try that. Or we could take this finger off. This is the only one we haven't taken off so far. Let's try that. So you can get all sorts of different sounds. What about the A minor chord? What about the um, second finger? Or moving it up a string, let's try that. Maybe moving it up even further, right up there, let's try that. there are many other combinations but that's just to start you off basically the idea is to have fun take a chord 
and just play around with fingers, taking them off, moving them slightly one position. Sometimes it'll sound really bad. <laughs> well, I mean, oftentimes it will, but you may well hit on a very nice combination and you can start building up patterns of sounds around it. Another interesting one with the G chord actually, now I'm here, is to take your finger off uh, the uh, fifth string and move it down to the fourth string. And you get another suspended sound. You can even move it down one more. And playing around with just this one finger going up and down the strings, you can get sounds like this. So there's a lot you can do just with one chord moving your fingers around. Have fun.